Hi everyone. Hi, how are y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing well. So today, teacher is going to guide you on the second part of chapter four, which is the laws of certs. Now, for the laws of certs, all right. Uh, first of all, you need to understand what is a cert. Okay. So for the laws of cert, first you need to understand what is a cert. Okay, a cert. Okay, is actually an irrational number now if you are still not sure what is an e what's a rational what's an irrational number okay you need to go back to form one form two form three okay these are the basics that you definitely need to know all right so here let me show you actually okay what are irrational numbers okay irrational numbers are decimals okay that you cannot okay you cannot okay this is cannot be converted into fractions okay so if let's say you have decimals okay and you cannot convert it into fractions let's say you key in, in the calculator and you still don't get a fraction that means that's an irrational number okay so if rational number that means you can convert the decimals to fraction and a third will always usually be in a square root form okay it will always be in square root form now, how do we write? Let me show you. Okay, you have square root A, okay, and then you have the power over here. So, how do we say this? How do we pronounce this? So, we say this as cert A, okay, order F. So, we say cert, okay, instead of square root or, you know, cube root, we say cert A, order F. Okay, now let's see if this is assert or not all right let's say i give you square root one over four okay now what is the square root of one one what is the square root of four two so one over two okay is this assert yes or no so one over two is a fraction okay if you change this to decimal it's 0 0.5 so i can convert my decimal back to a fraction so that means this is not a cert okay now well how do we know if it's a cert let's say it's square root three cert three okay cert three whether this is cert or not i need to identify now let's say i key in uh, square root three inside All right what do i get 1.732050808 now try to change this to fraction you can't since you cannot change these decimals into fraction so yes this is a cert okay so i hope you understand this is the basic for you to know what is a cert what is not a cert okay this is very very basic and make sure that you always remember what is rational and irrational number okay now i'm going to guide you on how to convert okay how to convert the recur recurring decimals okay convert recurring decimals okay two fractions so i'm going to write the questions first okay so let's look at all these seven examples and i'm going to go through one by one detail okay in detail so that you really really understand how to convert this because sometimes it can be tricky okay but most of the times it's actually pretty much easy all right so the first step okay for for part a okay a it's zero point Two, 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 and then it keeps recurring. Now, which digit is going on forever? The number two, right? Number two is going on forever. Okay, since number two is going on forever, I'm going to take two, okay? And I'm going to put it as a fraction, okay? Over, and I'm going to write nine. Why nine? Because it's always going to be nine, okay? That is like the one of the law, okay? Which uh, you can check in calculator okay 2 over 9 so as you can see your decimal is 0 0.22222 okay since you put so what you do first you take 2 because 2 is the one that's going on forever you put divided by 9 so the fraction is 2 over 9 okay it's always 9 remember that now let's say for b Okay, B is 0 0.3333333. So, which number keeps going on? 3. 
Okay, so that means I'm going to write 3 all right, over 9. Okay, now 3 over 9, it looks like it can be simplified. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to divide the number that can simplify with, which is 3. So divide 3, divide 3. So I've simplified it to 1 over 3. So my answer is 1 over 3. Now, if you want to check in calculator, you can always check 1 over 3 is 0 0.33333. Okay, Recur recurring decimal. Now, let's look at C. C, we have 0 0.63636363 and so on. Okay, so in this part, which number is recurring? It looks like 6 and 3 keeps repeating, right? Okay, so here now what I'm going to do is, since there are two digits, 6, 3. So, the fraction, okay, the below uh, denominator is going to be 9, 9. Okay, so that means 63 over 99. Now, can we simplify 63 over 99? Yes. So, let's look at a factor that can be divided. So, we divide by 9, divide by 9. So, 63 divided by 9 is 7. 99 divided by 9 is 11. So, let's check. Okay, 7 over 11. Do we get 0 0.636363? Yes. So, this is the fraction. Okay. Now, let's look at D. Alright, so let me do here. So D is 0 0.201, 201, 201, and so on. Now, which number is recurring? So 201. So three, three digits, right? So what I'm going to do here? So I'm going to write 201, okay? And the denominator will be 999. Nine, nine. Since up three digits, down also three digits of 9. So now can we simplify this? Let's simplify. So let's divide by the common factor, let's say 3, 201 divided by 3, divide by 3, so we get 67 over 333. 3, 3. Now, 67 over 333, 3, 3, can we simplify more? No, we can't. So let's check whether we get, yes, the decimal is the same, alright? Let's look at E. Okay, it looks like I have to use the next page. So, it's 0 0.044444. Alright, so I'm going to write here. So that's G, right? Oh, sorry, E. Okay, E, 0 0.044444. Okay, look. Okay, here, alright, we have 0, 0.0. There's a 1, 0 here before the number 4 starts repeating. So, in that case, okay, what you're going to do is, you're going to take 0 0.4, divide by 10. Okay, what is 0 0.4 divided by 10? 0 0.04. So, we don't want to straight away just write 4. Because there is a 0 here. So, for this part, we will change it to 0 0.4, divide 10. Okay, now, now we take, okay, number 4 is the one repeating, right? Okay, so it's going to be 4, the digit over 9 divided by 10 because number 4 is the one repeating okay so 4 over 9 so we will write like this 4 over 9 divide change to times so it becomes times 1 over 10 now 4 times 1 4 9 times uh, 10 is 90 so 4 over 90 now this fraction can be simplified yes let's say divide by 2 so we simplify we get 2 over 45 so let's check 2 over 45 is 0 0.044444. Yes, we do get it. Now, next, let's look at F. So, F is 0 0.377777. Okay, so it looks like 3, 0 0.3. Okay, after that, the 7 is the one that is repeating. Okay, so how we are going to write? So it's going to be like this. It's going to be 0 0.3. Okay, plus, okay, what is this? 0 0.07777, right? Okay, now, 0 0.3, we are going to change, okay? Put the digit, so it's going to be 3 over 10. Okay, it's not over 9. Why it's not over 9? Previously, okay, we the 4 was repeating. So that's why the 4 was over 9. In this case, the 3 is not repeating. So, it's just 
3 over 10. Okay, because 3 over 10, you change back to decimal, it's 0 0.3. Alright, then this one, 0 0.077. Okay, can you see here that there's one zero in the middle before the 7 repeats? So for this part, okay, we have to write 0 0.7 divide by 10. Okay. 0 0.7 divided by 10. Why? Because when 0 0.7 divided by 10, you get 0 0.07. Okay? Now, now we can solve. So, here it's going to be 3 over 10 plus. So, uh, 0 0.7, we change this. Because 7 is the one repeating, right? So, change, write the digit 7 over 9. Because 7 is the one repeating. Okay? Here, divide by 10. Okay, so far I hope you guys are following. Now, so 3 over 10 plus 7 over 9. The divide 10 we change to times. Times 1 over 10. Okay, so it looks like we can straight away write 3 over 10 plus 7 over 90. You can add this using calculator or we can just add manually. So here times 9, here times 9. So it will be 27 plus 7 over 90. So 27 plus 7 is 34 over 90. Let's uh, simplify this. Mm, we can divide by 2. Okay, so here divide by 2, divide by 2. So we get 17 over 45. Now, 17 over 45, let's check. 17 over 45. Yes, we get 0 0.37777. Okay, and the last one. F G okay so I got I hope this part because I understand in the beginning okay what you can do is you can stop this video go back pause or repeat this whole video again it's worth it it's worth your time because you need to understand the concept okay so last one the question is 2.0805 okay 2.0805 then 805 805 okay so first step okay we are going to write 2 first plus 0 0.0805 805 okay and so forth now looks like these three digits are the one repeating right okay but here we have 0, 0.0 so what we need to do so we need to take 0 0.805 divide 10 okay it's the same method again when you have a zero in the middle before the number that repeats okay divide 10 okay now we are going to write 2 plus okay this one 805 is the one that repeats right so this thing i write 805 over 999 the digit 999 because three digit up three digit down so divide by 10 okay now we get 2 plus 805 over 999 times 1 over 10 so here we will get 2 plus 805 over 9990 okay so here we can get 2 805 over 9990 let's simplify this so 805 over 9990 we can divide and we will get uh, 805 we can divide by 5 999 0 we can divide by 5 so the final answer okay is 2 161 over 1998 so we have got the fraction Okay, so let's check 2161 over 1998. So we got, yes, 2.0805805. 2 okay, so I hope, okay, you guys like can repeat this entire video. Okay, this part, the loss of the cert is very important. And uh, I'll see you in my next video where we will do simplifying the certs. So don't forget to subscribe, like and also share this with your friend. Bye.